This is the main panel of FHO 5000, the button control area, and a 7-inch high-resolution LCD screen are integrated on it. The LCD screen could be replaced to a touch screen as an option. Turn over the OTDR. Let's have a look at the back panel. The battery storehouse is in the back panel. The battery of OTDR is replaceable. To replace the battery, screw off the cover and take the battery out. The stand board is beside the battery storehouse. The main ports are on the top panel. The common ports are at the left position. Each of them is protected with a smaller dust-free cap. From left to right, there's power charging, normal USB, RJ45, and a mini USB port. The right area is for the optical ports, which are covered with bigger dust-free cap. Generally, the first and the second port are VFL port and 1310-1550 nanometer FC UPC laser launching port. The rest of two ports are reserved to online detection laser launcher and optical power meter. Both of them are offered as options. Back to the main panel. All the operation buttons are on the red area. The button area can also be separated into two parts. The buttons nearby the screen is called label selection buttons, which the functions of them are alterative by the labels shown beside them on the screen. The rest buttons are normal operation buttons with fixed function. The power button should be pressed over two seconds. The home interface offers four main detection applications, OTDR, laser source, OPM, and VFL. Users can select the application by navigation buttons or by label selection buttons. Press F5 to enter the system setting menu. There are several blocks in this menu. Press OK to enter the highlighted block and select the needed option. Then press OK again to go back to the block selection. The second block is for touch screen function. Usually, the touch screen status block is invalid. To enable this block, please purchase the touch screen option. If you want to get more system information of FHO 5000, press F1. The details will be shown to you. We offer system upgrading service. When a new system version is released, download it on the internet, copy it to your USB disk, and choose F2, which is corresponding to the upgrade function in this page. To upgrade the system, the USB disk contains the latest system version should it be connected with OTDR via USB port. F3 is corresponding the auto calibration function here. When you have any confusion in using OTDR on-site, 
please press F4 in this page to open the quick user guide. If you want to contact the manufacturer, press F5 to get the manufacturer information. Choose the OTDR module and enter it. Open the bigger cap of the second port. The standard port is FC UPC type. Now fetch a connector of a protesting fiber here. We select testing fiber rail as a testing object. Before connect the connector, we suggest cleaning the surface of furrow with an alcohol dipped dust free paper or a one click cleaner to keep cleaning and protect the laser launching port. When connecting the connector, please keep the fur rule perpendicular to the port to protect the ceramic component of the port. After connect the connector, Press Setup to enter the OTDR Setup page. In this page, you can set the specified parameters for the test project. Or, if you have no idea of the main parameters, choose Auto in the Test Mode block. The OTDR will do the auto calibration. Press F2 to enter the Event Threshold Setup page. In this page, you can set a threshold value. These values will affect on the OTDR testing events. Modifying the scatter index may affect on the total length of a testing fiber. Press F1 to return to the testing setting page. Press F3 to reset all the parameters to default. After finishing the parameter setting, press Test button to start the average testing. During the testing process, the launching indicator will be lighted on. When the whole detection process is done, a static curve will be shown in the middle area, and the detected events will be listed below. Press Real-Time button to start the real-time detection. During the real-time detection, the launching indicator is in green, and the curve shown in the middle area is dynamic. The detection wavelengths and the range are changeable by press F4 and F5, which are corresponding to WL and testing range functions. Press the real-time button again to stop the detection. The OTDR will analyze the curve automatically and show the events below. After detection, you can press the label selection button to choose the required function to do a further analyzing. F1 is a cursor control button. By pressing F1 multiple times, to change the cursor selection, move cursor A, move cursor B, move cursor A and B. The curve information between A and B will be shown above the curve. The F2 button is integrated the functions of zoom, shift, and switch by pressing the button multiple times to switch among the functions. The zoom function can zoom in or out the curve by the navigation button.
the shift function is to move the position of the curve. Press OK to return to the original position. The switch button is for multiple curves operation. This function allows users to choose among curves shown in the screen. The selected curve will be in orange. The overlay function is mainly for removing curve. Press F3 to boot the overlay function. Choose events operation. The event list will be enlarged. Select the event in list. The cursor will auto locate to the event position in curve. Press F5 to the next function page. Now the F2 is corresponding to the print screen function. Press F2. The current screen will be saved as BMP picture. The F3 is an event adding button. In file operation menu, it's a common file operation like copy, cut, rename, etc. are available. The navigation buttons can be used to position the file and press OK to select it. Or, if you want to choose all files, use the select all function. Using the select all function under the selected status will cancel the selection. To change the file name, the rename function is required. Before create a directory, please position a created place first, then name it. The save function is to save the latest operated curve information. To save a curve, choose a saving folder first, then press save. The tested curve will be saved as SOR file. The save as function allows users to type in the file name before saving. FHO5000 also allows users to load the SOR files. Most eight curves are allowed to be loaded at the same time. The setting function in file operation page is mainly for defining the naming rules.
In this page, users can define the name type, sequence number, etc. The auto-saving is available here. Like on this function, the OTDR will save light after detection. After defining the naming rules, choose the required saving path. If the auto-saving function is on, the tested curve will be saved in the specified folder. to return to the last OTDR interface.